now the next uh, comes here is the before update so again here if before the updation of any record you want to perform any kind of automation or you want to check something so in this case again you will going to take help of before update trigger event okay so uh, if we talk about the context variable in the all four context variable you will going to have the value this time trigger dot new new map old and old map why in the new map here because updation you always going to do on the records which are already available in the salesforce okay so which means that the record id is also there because the data is already there then, then only we are able to perform the updation of that particular record so id will be there so that is why in the new and new map both will going to give you the value similarly old and old map will also going to give you the value now the question comes here is what old and new will going to give you like suppose there is a record okay account record is there and earlier the rating field was hot okay rating field is there on the account so the value for the rating field is hot now after the updation rating field value is warm so in the case of trigger if you will see in the case of new and new map you will see that the new value which is changed after the updation will going to be there that is rating will be warm but in case of old and old map you will see that for the same record it will going to give you the older version of that record that is the older values which are there before the updation so old and old map will going to give you rating is equals to hot so in this update case either it is before or it is update all four context variable will going to give you the value in case of new and new map new version will be given to you that is the values after updation which are saved and the old and the old map will going to give you the previous or the older version of the same record okay so hope this is helpful for any queries do let me know